Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to wrap your hair like a pro. I've had many many years of practice doing this so this comes naturally for me but I know for some it may be a little bit difficult to do. So today I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So let's get straight into this video. So I'm starting off with a bristle brush for this first part just to smooth the hair down. I've also left the video in real time instead of speeding it up just so that you can follow along while I do it. So I start by smoothing down one side of my hair as if I'm going to do a slick back hairstyle. And for me it's my left side, whatever feels comfortable for you, that's the side that you start on. And I'm smoothing that down until it's as flat and as slick as possible. And as you can see, each time I brush, I use my other hand to hold the hair down. And I do this throughout the whole routine. So what I'm trying to achieve here is to get that top middle part wrapped up first and then the rest will follow. So I start to smooth that top middle section over into the other side of my hair and for this part I'm going to switch over to a normal size tooth comb because I find it much easier to use this comb. So yeah I'm just using that comb and I'm combing the hair over onto the other side and I'm holding that part where I slicked it down on the other side with my free hand <laughs> and then I comb it round back into that slick down section to complete the full circle. And I'm making sure to hold down to that hair after I've smoothed it down, especially at the top section because that's where all the hair is going to fall down if you don't hold it. When I'm smoothing the hair around to the starting point, I comb it round to that point there and I hold it down with my fingers. And I put the comb in between my fingers just like so. And I hold the comb there until I readjust my hand to hold the top part again. And then I just continue to smooth it round. And remembering to adjust my hand and hold it down where I just combed with my fingers. And that's what you want to do the whole way through. Comb it down, and hold it down, comb it down and hold it down until you smoothed all the hair around. So yeah, I'm just continuing to wrap it around and holding it down with my other hand. And then I'm putting the comb right in front of my hand where I'm holding it. And then I'm adjusting my hand to hold behind the comb. And I hold the hair down while I'm smoothing it around. So yeah, I'm just trying to achieve that circular shape at the very top first before I move on to the rest of my hair. When you're combing it round to form that circle, make sure to hold on to the very top so that everything is secure and it won't fall down when you're combing it. The smoother the hair is, the less likely that it will fall. So try and get it as smooth as possible. So once I've formed that circular shape, I just continue to keep going round and round. And as I'm combing it round, my other hand basically trails where I've combed. So I just comb it down and immediately hold where I combed and just go around the whole head. So once you've wrapped the hair around twice or so, it should begin to feel a bit more secure. But don't get too excited because it can still all fall down. <laughs> so once you've wrapped it around a few times, just go around and smooth around those hairs that got left behind at the back and the sides and comb those around too. Remembering to hold down the hair as you do this, especially that top part and just keep combing until everything is smooth and slick. And then you want to take a smoothing brush to give it a once over, just to get it even more smoother. And with the brush, I like to start around the hairline. Brush the hairs around the hairline first. Then I make my way towards the centre. You don't know where any of them are. This is really annoying my life. I'm gonna have to find them, so I don't know how long I'll be, but I'll be back. And I like to use a little bit of oil sheen on my hair when I wrap it, just because I find it comes out more silky the next day. And then you want to grab your hair scarf and wrap that securely on your head. And this is how I do mine with my square hair scarves. Sometimes I wake up and my head scarf has come off during the night. But that's probably because I don't wrap my hair too tight and because I sleep quite badly as well. <laughs> and then once I have the headscarf on, I just like to smooth my hands around on the headscarf. Just in case anything got messed around with when I put my hair tie on. 
And then I tied the excess bits to the scarf in the front and I tucked that in. And yep, that's how I wrap my hair guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it somewhat useful. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. And click that notification bell so you can know when I upload my videos so you don't miss out on them. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.